Hello, students. Uh, this class is uh, purely uh, to give the overview. Uh, what are the topics? Uh, uh, what I have completed uh, uh, till now is nothing but uh, I have completed almost uh, four units, uh, and at the same time uh, the fifth unit uh, I am explaining. That is nothing but uh, the sixth unit uh, I have taken. After completion of that sixth unit, I will explain that uh, uh, fifth unit. Okay, so here uh, in this one, I have explained uh, that uh, four units, uh, I have taught four units. Okay, so some units uh, that is nothing but uh, first and third unit, uh, uh, I have explained uh, through the board. Okay, and at the same time, uh, the second and fourth unit I have completed through the PPT. Okay, our presentation. And now uh, I'm going to complete the fifth and sixth also by using the presentation. Okay, PowerPoint presentation. Right. So out of this, uh, uh, I have given the material for uh, the first unit, second unit, third unit, and fourth unit completely. Okay. After completion of the sixth unit and fifth unit, I'm going to give the material for those two units also. Okay. So, uh, I don't know whether you are uh, uh, listening to the, these classes or not, uh, or you are understanding or not. Okay. So, but uh, I'm providing uh, a basic uh, classes that is uh, for each unit. Uh, okay. Thoroughly, I am explaining uh, by considering uh, the syllabus uh, uh, according to our uh, curriculum syllabus. Okay. So, here, I have completed the first unit completely through the board. I have explained uh, this one that is uh, introduction to IC technology, fabrication process, NMAS, PMAS, and uh, CMAS fabrications. After that, uh, I have explained about IDS versus VDS relationship. Next one is aspects of mass transistor. That is under this concept, I have explained about the threshold voltage, body effect, uh, transconductance, and all those things I have explained. That is mass transistor transconductance and output conductance and figure of merit. Okay. Next one is uh, uh, I have explained about the N mass inverter, T mass inverter, uh, and uh, C mass inverter and pull up and pull down ratios uh, for this uh, N mass inverters. Okay. And that is nothing but uh, one transistor, one uh, uh, transistor that is uh, one inverter driven through one or more past transistors. And what is the pull up and pull down ratio? Okay. Next, we have seen about alternative forms of pull ups. That is uh, nothing but the load, that is resistance load. And at the same time, pull up means uh, what we have uh, that is pull up transistor and pull down transistor will be present. Pull up transistor will be, we can vary. That is, first we have considered with the resistor. And after that, I have explained with the N mass depletion MOSFET. After that, we have considered N mass enhancement MOSFET as pull up. After that, we have considered complementary uh, mass technology that is uh, P mass transistor, we will consider as the pull up. Like that, uh, we have seen about the alternative forms of pull ups. Okay, next the CMOS, in, uh, CMOS inverter and what are the uh, operation of that CMOS inverter and what are the characteristics of that CMOS inverter we have seen. Uh, next, uh, latch up in CMOS circuits and by CMOS inverter and uh, uh, comparison between CMOS and by CMOS technology. Okay, so if you observe this uh, unit here, it is very, very easy if you practice the derivations. Okay, and at the same time, each topic that is present here will be one question, right? So if you uh, take off this uh, introduction to IC technology, okay, that in that one, we will get uh, Moore's law, okay? In short answer uh, questions, we will get the Moore's law. Okay, what is Moore's law? Or otherwise, what is the scales of integration? The scales of integration means how uh, uh, this uh, transformation in taking place in IC technology, that is IC fabrications or uh, IC, how many transistors that will be placed uh, like that if you observe. So that, that question is also, uh, they are asking for uh, two marks question, okay? So uh, here from this first topic, uh, you will get only two marks questions. That is nothing but uh, what is Moore's law. And next one is uh, explain about the VLS, uh, scales of integration in the IC technology. Okay, transformation of IC technology 
So in that one, we have, will study that small scale integration, large scale integration, and how many transistors we have to place, and what is the basic, uh, all those things we have in that one. Next, after that, we have fabrication process. So in this one, we have NMOS uh, and PMOS and CMOS fabrications. So out of that, we have NMOS fabrication is there. So if you know the NMOS fabrication thoroughly, we can go with the uh, easily with PMOS and at the same time CMOS fabrication. So here the CMOS fabrication consists of uh, N-well process and P-well process and at the same time twin-well process. All the three I have explained and these are uh, these questions are very important. Okay, fabrication steps of N-MOS transistor they will ask or a P-MOS transistor they will ask. If you know one transistor, so it is very easy to know the fabrication steps or to write the fabrication steps of another transistor. Okay, so that is what N-MOS transistor, P-MOS transistor and C-MOS transistor. Next, if you uh, come across with IDS versus VDS relation, it is nothing but the derivation, derivation of uh, uh, the uh, drain to source current that is IDS uh, equation. Okay, so that derivation is very, very important. Uh, you will get a, a direct question, uh, derive the IDS value, IDS versus VDS, explain the IDS versus VDS. Okay, so that is one point, uh, uh, that is one question, another question, how they will ask. Okay, so next one is aspects of mass transistors means out of this, uh, we will get the explain about the threshold effect, threshold voltage and body effect or uh, they will give direct question for eight marks. Uh, that is nothing but aspects of mass transistors that includes the threshold voltage, mass transistor transconductance and figure of merit definitions. Okay, they will ask directly that, uh, explain the following uh, uh, terms. That means threshold voltage, body effect. Uh, threshold voltage, uh, that is body effect is uh, internally that is present in threshold voltage. So directly they will ask threshold voltage. If they ask threshold voltage for two marks, you can write directly the threshold about the threshold voltage, but it is given for eight marks. You have to explain about the body effect also. Okay, so that is what uh, the question you'll get uh, from the aspects of uh, mass transistor means. So that is threshold voltage and uh, mass transistor transconductance and figure of merit uh, definitions. From this IDS versus VDS only, we are going to define and we are going to derive the equations for them. Okay, that is one important question. Next one is uh, N mass inverter operation. They don't ask the N mass inverter operation, but uh, they will ask you that uh, the question N mass inverter driven by another n mass inverter then what is the pull up and pull down ratio that is 4 is to 1 okay zpu by zpd uh, is equal to 4 is to 1 this derivation is very 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 important uh, question okay and after that the same question we have is an n mass inverter driven by another n mass inverter through one or more pass transistors what is the pull up and pull down ratio that is is also important question that is 8 is to 1 we have to derive Okay, next one is the alternative forms of pull up. So this is also a very important question. Okay, next one is the CMOS inverter and its characteristics. Another question that will be asked. Next one is latch up in CMOS circuits. So they will give two marks question or they will can give eight marks question. Okay, but by CMOS inverters we have. So by CMOS inverter operation uh, is also introduced here. Next comparison between CMOS and by CMOS technology. So I have given a table. Okay, so just go through that. So these are the questions uh, for uh, how they will ask in the exam. I don't. Uh, I am not telling about uh, uh, the important questions because each and every topic in this unit is an important question because uh, we don't know which question they will ask. You can observe the previous questions or question papers. So in that one. So every topic is important in this one. Uh, so in four sets, uh, you will get, uh, uh, we don't know which topic they will ask. So, so you have to go with uh, thoroughly this first unit. Okay. So I have provided already the material. So just go through that. And uh, uh, after uh, completion of sixth unit, I am going to give the, uh, what we call uh, assignment uh, questions. Okay. So I will complete in two or three days this sixth unit. After that, I will give uh, the assignment questions uh, in first three units and uh, next three units. Okay, so you, you have to submit those. Okay, 
so this is about the first unit uh, and how they will ask uh, uh, the questions on this unit right so now next we will go with the second unit so if you want to pass the vlsi compulsory you have to complete this uh, unit that is unit 2 that is uh, mass and bicema circuit design process okay so in this one uh, the mass layers is nothing but it is a two marks question so what are the mass uh, different mass layers we have okay that is n diffusion p diffusion polysilicon and threshold uh, what uh, we call is uh, uh, polysilicon and metal okay these are the mass layers so we'll get the only two marks question on this mass layers topic next one is uh, drawing of the stick diagrams and the rules of the stick diagrams are very very important stick diagrams rules for p mass uh, sorry n mass and at the same time uh, c mass technology you have to remember so that we can draw the uh, stick diagrams and layouts for the those uh, c mass circuits and at the same time n mass circuits so clearly i have provided in the material how to draw and i have explained these things uh, in the uh, presentation also okay so here the most important questions you will get is nothing but uh, uh, stick diagram drawing and at the same time layout drawing okay and directly they will ask you that uh, out of this topic uh, two micrometer double metal double poly cmos by cmos rules okay so they will directly ask you that explain the two micrometer double metal double poly cmos by cmos rules and at the same time uh, the dependent question is nothing but 1.2 micrometer double metal double policy uh, double poly cmos rules so they cannot ask you draw the layout or stick diagram uh, and uh, in this two micrometer double metal or double poly technology but they will ask you that uh, directly explain about uh, this two micrometer double metal double poly or 1.2 micrometer double metal double poly questions okay so i already uh, these two are one uh, questions that is the possible questions are important questions and the another important question is stick diagrams for any n mass technology or they will ask c mass technology okay but uh, they will ask you the basic gates that is uh, inverter gate uh, uh, in c mass uh, that is stick diagram and layout and at the same time the nand gate or nor gate up to that point only they will ask in the exam drawing of uh, the stick diagrams and layouts okay so those are the only questions we have in this uh, mass and by CMOS circuit design it is very easy unit uh, to prepare the vlsa for the final exams okay so this is how they will ask the questions in this unit okay so in the next uh, discussion we will see another uh, two units how they will ask the uh, questions okay